Let's settle in with one of those famous Carlsberg beers and set our sights on the beautiful city of Copenhagen. Easily the most populous city in the country, Copenhagen is situated on two islands and nestled right on the coast of the Orison Strait, just a short jump from Malmo, Sweden. Known for several things like having the oldest operating amusement park in the world and more notably housing the headquarters of the well-known beer Carlsberg. But one that will stand out I think the most is Nyhaven. Unlike its English translation of New Harbor, this place is quite historic. Located next to a 17th century canal with plenty of old wooden boats all moored for that perfect picture. This is a great meeting place with tall painted houses lining the canal that boasts some awesome bars, restaurants, and cafes for your evening out. During the day, however, fill your time visiting some pretty impressive architecture. The Rosenberg Castle, built in the 1600s, is a good place to start, but the Christianburg Palace is where it should end. Being right downtown and housing Denmark's Supreme Court, the Prime Minister's office, and the Danish Parliament, it's hard to not stop for a few selfies. And in between those places, make sure you take in some of the local shopping along pedestrian-only streets that will take you right into Old City. Being on the water, there aren't many places to get a good bird's-eye view of the city. However, Frederick's Church comes close enough. Commonly known as the Marble Church, Though not made from any marble, you can visit for free and scour the outside for the 14 bronze statues surrounding it. If you're ambitious enough, you can pay to climb the dome and get that perfect view of the city below. From here, you just might see one of the city's more unique attractions. Out with the old and in with the new is what they were thinking here. Aptly named Copenhill, someone decided to build a ski hill on the roof of a waste energy plant. Yes, you did hear that right and it looks awesome. Skiing year round with a ski cafe at the bottom and a restaurant and rooftop terrace at the top. This is something that I would absolutely not be able to miss. Okay, what a great spot to start off my Scandinavian videos and it'll be interesting to see some others a bit further north. If you feel like you'd wanna see some of those, please consider subscribing by clicking my big logo or if you're looking for more content, check out a couple of my other videos as well. Thanks for watching.